Can't lie off the bat. Not the best cards, straight up. So just as an overall, this is my most important card, which has you feeling a bit guarded, a bit uncertain. Situations may feel like it's not working out in your favor, or you just might be feeling cautious and tired. Now, the positives about the Nine of Wands is that this card has most certainly been through an ordeal. There's a, a lot of energy that you've used up, but you've made it. You're standing, you're strong, and you're capable. And on some ways, you're like, even, even if you're falling apart to a degree, like, bring it on, I can take it. I don't care, keep testing my strength is the vibe that I get with the Nine of Wands. But for the most part, I feel like you're being cautious and are uncertain about a situation. I feel the need to make that decision. We have two twos here with the Two of Swords and the Two of Wands, two uncertain cards. Now, normally in this card, there is a clear option that's standing out. This is the one that you're hanging on to, that you're looking towards the future with. But with the Two of Swords, I think you're still contemplating about whether or not this is logical for you. You're trying to be rational about it. Um, and there might be some level of confusion or uncertainty yet still remaining. And I think for the most part, in terms of moving forward and taking some form of action, you're holding off until you're really clear, which is not the case. And you're definitely unable to see things clearly because you have the Eight of Swords as well. And this person here, they're like wrapped up in their own world, you know, surrounded. Well, not really surrounded here, but it's like they've trapped themselves and they feel trapped in a situation despite the fact that there are clear ways to navigate around the swords. They're not really, what do you call it, in your way. It's just in your head, but you can't seem to look up and see that just yet you're kind of fixated on all this mental stress that's going on or your situation and are trying to deal with that you're trying to look at things with a level head but for the most part uh, not being all that successful this week but let's see let's see let's see all right so what are you so indecisive about with the two of swords wheel of fortune Maybe it's about taking a chance on something. It might feel like it's risky and it could involve in a male figure. This could be yourself. It could involve money or a job or your home, anything of material value that you're thinking about taking a risk on. Um, or again, this is a person that you're considering taking a chance on and you're like, I don't know if I should or shouldn't. It feels uncertain and you don't know which way that will turn if it'll work out in your favor or not. And, okay, I'm going to look at this dropper as something. All right, so this might be a wish of yours. And maybe it's, maybe on some level it feels like it's coming true or you're simply really fixated on it and fixated on how to obtain it. You think you might know how, but again, I feel a lot of uncertainty tied to it. It's like, am I going to be happy if I do this is what's coming up. Eight of Swords. Queen of Chalices, I feel that this month you're very emotional. You're trying not to be emotional, but your emotions are the ones that are stressing you out and causing you to shut down a bit. All right, you might be struggling where that's concerned. And it, there's another person here, the King of Swords. This is a partnership, potentially. Um, a couple, so someone that you're aligned with that could be causing you to be emotional and I think you're trying to shut the emotions out but not being completely successful at it. This person may have turned cold on you and just being an asshole and you're trying to again disregard them, maybe even move on with someone else or a brand new situation but can't completely do so just yet. Okay. Communication could have gone a bit off where another person is concerned. Maybe it's gotten a little hostile or there's miscommunication happening where you and another person are just not understanding each other. Two of Wands. So many people. Could be a lot of people involved in this situation in general.
Maybe on some level you, you feel surrounded by people you don't want to be surrounded by. Two of Wands has the Queen of Pentacles, so this choice that you're making could involve this female or it could involve work, money, your career. It could be a financial decision that you're trying to fixate on and focus on, whatever you're doing, whatever makes you feel comfortable and makes you feel secure. Some of you might, if you haven't worked in a while, are deciding to get back into it because you have to for yourself or a sense of independence. And you have hope where this choice is concerned. You feel like it's going to lead you to a better situation. I like that star. Nine of Wands. Feeling, Jesus, <laughs> we're feeling cautious. But why? So there's momentum forward, Chariot, here, but it could be that things are moving quite quickly and chaotically and you don't know how to reel things in. Or it could also represent the fact that you know that you got to, again, move forward in the situation, but you don't know how to. It's like, which way do I go? This could involve an actual car here. This Instead of the usual chariot, we do have a car. Um, and All right, I'm just going to say it. it sounds a little weird, but you could be feeling cautious around travel or cars, but I'm just going to put that aside. It just came to mind. I feel like that's minor. For the most part, I think, is choosing a direction and you're afraid of sticking with it and it being wrong and wishing you had went the other way. I feel like that you just don't want to deal with any regrets. Like if you've made decisions recently and it's turned out against your favor, you're like, I gotta be really cautious about what I do now and really think, really, really, really think that this is right. I need some time. I need some time away from these people. Maybe people are pressuring you because there's like so many kings and queens here that you might feel under pressure to, again, make a choice. And you're like, no, I need to take some time to think and be alone. Please stop asking me. Please stop bothering me for now. And some of you might actually take your car and go away and go off on a trip by yourself. And not like an extravagant trip, but... I get the vibe of going to a log cabin or going to, if you have a second home or a vacation home, somewhere that you're used to, you're comfortable, you're just kind of driving off and heading in that direction to just be by yourself with your thoughts for now. All right, so we come into the week with death, a clear ending situation is done, it's over. There's no resurrecting this. now. The Four of Swords follows immediately after death, which could be recovering from the situation. This could also be being at peace with the fact that something is over and cannot be recovered. Now, this, this Four of Swords in particular, I feel that he's quite at peace. And then this energy is quite soothing as well to me looking at the imagery. So I do feel like this may have been an expected ending yes there might have been pain involved because death is a big change it's a big transition there's always something that comes afterwards and it might be tough to deal with but i think you're recovering quite well with the four of swords now i actually say that specifically because the ten of cups is the outcome card here which speaks to emotional satisfaction and happiness so Fulfillment comes after the fact that you are no longer tied to a situation, a person, event, a work, a, a work, a job. This is something you may have want to leave and it may have been difficult to do so, but the separation has happened. With the Seven of Wands, there could be people that don't agree with the fact that this thing, this situation is now over. You might find that you have to def defend yourself against them. Now, you look at him, he's doing so with a smile on his face. He is happy, he's ready to defend his stance and has no problems combating this energy here of people that have a problem with what he's doing, what he's thinking, or again, the steps that he's taken. I'm saying he because of the imagery. If you're a female, it could obviously represent you as well. Some of you uh, have taken quite a long break from life in general. 
because again of this uh, situation has ended and are back in full force I feel with the seven of wands ready to persevere and again hold your ground if necessary but ten of cups we have happy family here so I do think that the situation works out in your favor and you are feeling at ease and just content with the fact that things transpired as they have now I'm gonna get my clarifiers to see some more information. So death is always an ending for me. What can you tell me about death? We have all right, seven of swords and the ace of pentacles. Hmm. I feel like this is a rob not a robbery feeling robbed of an opportunity that has come your way a job a position a title has been ripped out from you it could be the fact that this happened that you feel like you were cheated out of a situation that's supposed to be yours in the ace of pentacles you expected it to come your way and some you know dipshit just took it from you uh, there is some element of that being the reason for distancing yourself and terminating your connection possibly with this job person or whatever the situation may be you feel like again that person or uh, job has ripped you off you were supposed to oh my god I'm fidgety you were supposed to get the ace of pentacles and they're like oh just kidding not gonna happen you're like oh yeah okay well goodbye I'm going somewhere else and separating yourself from that negative energy this could have been an item you lost as well. It's long gone. It's no longer, you just can't find it. It may have been broken. Someone actually just took it because we do have the card of the thief here. And this could have been an important item. The Ace of Pentacles has a lot of value to it. So it could have been an heirloom or something that was just very expensive or had sentimental value. And it is lost and gone. And What's interesting is that with the Ten of Cups, there's a possibility of it being returned to you or receiving something of equal value that diminishes the fact that that uh, item here is lost. That's going to be for those of you that actually lose something of material value. For the majority, I think that you felt ripped off out of an opportunity of the Ace of Pentacles that you were expecting again this title, title change, position to come up for you. And it was as if someone was like, ah, no, line. So you step away, you walk away from that. You put up quite a fight with the Seven of Wands. And again, you still have a happy ending regardless of the situation. So let's see the Four of Swords. We have Moon here with Strength. So Four of Swords is definitely indicating recovery, uh, thinking, and taking a break. You are going within, going pretty deep within with the Moon here. This is about subconscious energy, even um, considering any fears and really going inside of your, not inside of your feelings, but absorbing and thinking about what you fear, what you feel and not being afraid of that because we have strength associated with it. So you're definitely dealing with any emotions that are tied to this ending here from death. And it's making you stronger. Seven of, oh, I'm sorry. This entire time I was reading this as if it's the seven of wands and it's the seven of swords. So first, that's my bad, but I'm just going to actually keep to the fact that I looked at it with the imagery because this guy does seem like he's ready again to take whatever comes his way and he has this smirk about it. You do actually have the Seven of Swords twice, so mischief, uh, malice, and like thievery could be a theme this week. But I still want to stick with the fact that I saw, again, this perseverance coming forward from you and being able to defend yourself against whatever odds. Um, but that's very interesting. I This is actually the Seven of Swords. I just want to be clear about that. I was reading it as the Seven of Wands. Seven of Swords. Ooh, the Tower.
power. That's quite dramatic. So you got a big event here. Death. Definitely, definitely something is shifting and ending in quite a big dramatic way. This is like in front of eyeballs, um, <laughs> in front of all sorts of people. Big blowout. Your uh, foundation is being shook up. You know, things are coming down, being revealed as well. If there's any sort of stability that's coming, that's crashing down, essentially. If there actually has been any thievery where it felt like someone took something of yours that was important to you and again had this value, the thief themselves will be revealed, I feel, with the tower and death. Or in the case of the fact that you were expecting this position, this title, and then that didn't happen, you're going to find out why. And I feel like maybe someone in the background has manipulated the situation. But I'm going to stick with the fact that, again, you're going to persevere because the cards wanted me to see that. We have the Empress here. I wasn't actually thinking of any card. So I'm going to put that aside get one more for the Empress. We have the Hermit. So we have you going within, being very intuitive and uh, focusing on learning, thinking and assessing a situation. You are regaining control. You're figuring out what to do next. And you're in your power too, especially if you're a female. This is very powerful energy and being in command. If you are a male, this can be someone that you're thinking about who's a very strong influence for you, who is helping you learn and possibly cope. Let me get the Ten of Cups. Nine of Pentacles. Magician. So what we can definitely say is that the week ends on a very positive note. You have financial success, independence here, feeling the sense of luxury and wealth. And the magician is also tied to work and money. So for those of you that are concerned with that, those aspects, and you're very successful this week when it comes to work and money. You're most like, you might even be starting something new for yourself, and you're like a CEO, a CFO, or whatever. You're essentially in command and are taking all the necessary steps to make whatever you want happen. You have the, the backing, the means of funds, if that's a necessity for you. You're getting support from your family with the Ten of Cups there. If you're not really interested in work, I see this just as a vibe of overall feeling of success and wanting to create something, wanting to wanting to even engage in activities or projects that you think you would enjoy. There might be money involved as in, you know, you decide to learn some sort of skill and you got to pay for the classes. Things like that could be coming up with the Nine of Pentacles. But you're doing something that you love with the energy of the Magician and the Ten of Cups here. Let me get one more for the Seven of Swords. Tower and Death. Someone may have played you the fool, and that again is revealed, I feel, with the tower and death. And also in the fact that a, situ a big ending is happening this week that is very dramatic with the tower, there is the ability to start fresh with the fool and take essentially this new leap forward. Like you're breaking away from something uh, quite huge, and what comes after is good for you. It's like a new start here. You have a one here with the Magician too. You got a sense of completion, emotional completion coming up with Ten of Cups. Oh, I was going to laugh if this was the Seven of Wands. Anyway, we do have... Two other cards I just felt like pulling forward. You could be experiencing a sense of burdens this week. There is a rainbow behind you. So I would say that after you put quite a substantial amount of work, 
you have achievement there and you have that rainbow which I believe represents the rainbow in the ten of cups so the success and happiness is coming for you but it's not without hard work and that hard work could stress you out and you might even just have mental burdens creeping up most likely have to do with all this death that's surrounding you or the fact that a situation has ended and it comes as a bit of a shock but an opportunity comes from it so that's always nice to see